Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace what's on the other side of this door with this DeLorean with the 80s aesthetic. What we're going to want to do to get started is select our clip with the doorway in it that we want to cut out and jump over into Fusion. Once we're in Fusion, we'll select our Media 1 and we'll add a polygon mask. It's going to make everything go away, but it'll come back once we invert it. And then we're going to copy paste another polygon node directly after that one. So that's control C to copy and then control V to paste. In this one, we're going to set our paint mode to subtract. And then we're going to hit invert on that one as well. So now once we get to where the door starts to open, we're going to draw our first mask. And you might only need one, but since his arm gets in the doorway for a little bit of this, we need two because we have to have a top one and a bottom one. So we'll find that first frame where we can see through the door. We'll say right there. We'll grab our polygon number one, press F2 to rename this and call it top. Now we'll zoom way in by scrolling while holding control and then use our middle mouse click to move on up. We'll mask out this area where we can see the hallway. Close that up. All right. And then if you want to double check that, go ahead and double click down here and then you can see all the edges without your lines. That looks pretty good. We might make it a little bigger there, but this is okay. And this isn't pronounced at all. So we're just going to start this one on the next frame. So we have our top done and then bottom. So we'll go to the next frame, click on our second mask here and hit F2 again and call this one bot. And then we'll draw this out where we can see our hallway down to the pocket, up over the pants, just like that. Do that. We'll adjust that a little bit. Double click down here so we can see our edges more cleanly. I'm going to bring that down a little bit like that. This is a little bit loose down here, but it gets the point across for what I'm trying to show you. And then up here, we need to adjust our top mask now. So we'll scroll up, grow that over there, scroll on back down, grab this, go down, double click out here so we can check our edges. Looks like maybe we'll bring that over just a little bit more. And the bottom will do the same. Yeah, okay. So that is our first frame of the bottom done and our second frame of the top done. So if we go back, we can see that we have all that covered. And if we go forward, it sticks right to the door. On to the next frame where we're going to do that again. So we'll start at the top, zoom in, control, scroll. Grab this, move it to the corner. Grab this, move it to the corner. You won't have to do that if you have a tripod going, but this shot was shot just handheld, it looks like. So we're gonna have to make more adjustments because our perspective is shifting as well. All right, so click off that. We get a little bit of a, a weirdness happening out there, so we'll reselect it. Just pop that over. looks good and then we'll do the bottom mask so we'll grab bot and we'll grab this point drag it on down there grab this point and match it up to the hoodie and we will actually make a new point it looks like here so we'll click on that drag it down there and then bring that over there and that's a little too loose so we'll grab our top corner here line it up to our door a little bit better, go down and do the same with our bottom corner. Looks all right. So there we go. We have three frames done. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm just going to keep doing this and following all those lines, making sure you can't see the hallway anymore, but you can see the door and you can see his arm. For now, I'm just going to speed this up so that you guys don't have to sit through this entire process. And I'm just going to manually rotoscope this exactly like that for the rest of the shot. Just take your points, cover up the hallway everywhere that it shows through, right? So that's the top done for that. 
and then we'll come down to the bottom and click bottom. Alright, so it doesn't look perfect, but I decided that two and a half hours was enough time to spend on an example, so let's go ahead and check this out. So as you can see, our mask is tracked right to that door. So now let's get rid of it in this beginning section here up until we actually need it when the door opens. So we'll go to say probably this frame and this is where they'll pop in. So we'll go ahead and grab our top mask and we'll turn solid off. We're gonna make a keyframe right here. We'll go to the next frame and then we'll turn solid back on. So that's keyframed to turn on and off. And you can see that it takes it away. We no longer have a mask there until solid is on. So we'll do the same thing with our bottom. Uh, we'll make sure those are on the same frame. Go bottom, no solid, make a keyframe, go to the next frame, yes solid. So now if we look at this, we have no mask right there, but when he opens the door, the mask is there doing its thing. So the more time you spend on the rotoscope here, actually masking out the arm and the hand, the face, the better this is gonna look. So if you're working on this for something that you need it to be nice for, really take your time on that rotoscope because it's the most important part of this whole thing. If you guys wanna see some more stuff that you can do with rotoscoping, some cool things like eye color changes, go ahead and check out this video right here and I'll see you over there.